Well, in other news now, the Supreme Court of India has delivered the much-anticipated verdict on legalizing same-sex marriages in the country. The top court has refused to legalize uh, queer marriages while saying that they can can't amend existing laws and it is for parliament to enact laws. However, the court took note of the concerns of the community and has proved provided some relief. The Chief Justice of India, while reading the verdict, said that the LGBTQ uh, community is a natural phenomenon, phenomenon known for ages and is neither urban nor elitist. He said it would be incorrect to state that marriage is a static and unchanging institution and that it must be ensured that the queer community is not discriminated. However, due to differences on certain views, the five-judge bench failed to legalize the status of same-sex marriages in a three is to two verdict. The court ruled that it cannot strike down the provisions of the Special Marriage Act of India or read words differently. The act provides for the registration of marriages which gives legal recognition to marriage and provides a number of legal benefits and protections to the couple. Uh, the petitioners demanded their marriages be recognized under the act. The Chief Justice said his court can't make or amend a law. It can only interpret it and give effect to it. However, the CGI directed the center, central government, state governments and union territories to take steps to protect the queer community. Uh, these include making sure that the community is not discriminated against. There is no discrimination for them in access to goods, services, to sensitize the public about the community, to create a hotline for them and to create safe houses for such couples and also to ensure intersex children are not forced to undergo operations. And for more on this, our principal uh, correspondent, Disha Shah, sent us this report. Well, that's right. The Supreme Court's uh, judgment uh, elicited mixed responses from the LGBTQ activists to where one section hailing constitution bends order and while the others expressing dissatisfaction as the Supreme Court did not legalize the same gender wedding. In fact, we did also see that the Supreme Court uh, acknowledged the rights, but on the other hand, it also said that how it can't make the law and it is up to the parliament to validate the same gender weddings. It is up to the parliament to actually change the Special Marriage Act. On the other hand, we did also observe that the Supreme Court today in its judgment uh, had significant observations. In fact, it was a three is to two uh, judgment is what we can see. And uh, it also recorded Senko's proposal of forming a committee to look into the issues of the same gender, uh, you know, couples and their concerns related to any issue. This is Ishasha reporting here from Mumbai for Beyond World is One.